most terrifying words in the English language are, I'm from the government and I'm here to help. Well, we know all too well what that was yesterday. Socialism only works in two places, heaven where they don't need it and hell where they already have it. <laughs> oh, this is that real. And, and if we ever forget that we're one nation under God, then we will be one nation gone under. Yeah, that's good. Uh, the last 24 hours, Speaker Pelosi, urged on by President Obama, Senator Reid, and empowered by John Tanner and every other Democrat who supports this team, made a power grab that would have made King George blush. When confronted with similar tyranny and taxes, our founders wrote a declaration that when any government becomes destructive of liberty, it is the right of the people to alter or abolish it, to throw off such government to provide new guards for our future security, for our kids' security. Thanks to our founders, we can do just that in November. We can throw off this Congress, abolish this liberal majority, and elect new guards for our future security. That's why I'm running for Congress. These kids, oh, you're holding a sign. These kids of mine and my children, Sarah and John Austin and Noah, the future of this country, the next generation, they're the reason I'm running. We have a Congress that thinks that they don't have to listen to the people that think they know it all. Well, they don't. And yesterday we saw that. I will be a representative that will represent the people, listen to what the folks have to say, and not pretend I have all the answers. I will be a representative that's a representative. I will listen to people in Tipton County, just like Crockett County. I tell people lots of times I'm from a little community called Frog Jump, 400 people. I'll never put Frog Jump over Monthly. <laughs> this is very important to me. A couple of weeks ago, we were with Arthur Laffer in Nashville. He moved here because we don't have a state income tax. He was President Reagan's chief economist. And he looked at me and he said, I've heard a lot about you, son. And he said, I didn't know. He said, but this is serious, isn't it? I said, this is dead serious. Our country is at a crossroads, and if we don't get leaders back that will lead and not follow, these guys are headed. So I thank you for coming out on a cold day, but this is an important fight that we have to fight. We have to take it back in 2010, and we're going to do it. So I need your help, your support, your prayers, and your vote. You tell all your friends, I am a good guy, really. <laughs> and this is real for me. This is not something I've dreamed about all my life. This is about taking back what is ours, and it's time we stand up and do it. So thank you very much. Uh, whatever I need to do, I'll do. And thank you so much for coming out. God bless you.